The hoarder's hunt skin of gold has been completed and the first part of the mystery solved. Alright then, let's just jump straight into it because this mystery is incredibly complicated. The puzzles are really hard and you can tell that they did indeed work with one of the UK's best puzzle makers on this mystery. In my opinion, they're using way too much out of game stuff, but I'll get onto that later in the video. Let's get on to the actual mystery. So, the hoarder's hunt begins and once you've signed up on the website, you get this letter. I trust you've seen my rules are shaped for hoarders at their heart. Just don't use common pirates in your stead and we can start. First, think of health and what you need to keep you fighting fit. And foods that help survive both shot from gun and cutlass hit. But there's a dark side to what we eat when time and life collude. Old it becomes and rotten too, with scent of death imbued. You must check in all the time. What if it's now no good? Be it pig in pen or fruit that's stored in. Tuneless drums of wood. Pictures paint a thousand words, or so some artists say. You must seek to link the two. Now hurry, on your way. So, that's our introduction, and where the mystery all kicks off. Sea of Thieves post an Instagram story displaying a single rotten banana, portraying the gold hoarder carved into its peel. Pirates were able to find a time lapse from a carver called Anna over on Twitter, who posted a time lapse of carving this banana on May 11th. Hidden in the video, we could see symbols resembling a pig pen cipher, hence why the letters said in it, be it pig in pen, or fruit that's stored in. Decoding these symbols revealed the message bit.ly sot fruit, which if you translate that to a bit.ly link, bit.ly slash sot fruit, this leads you to a OneDrive folder created by H called For Hoarders Eyes Only. Inside are five images of parchment featuring a fruit and similar symbols cut in half. In the middle of each of these images, a Spotify code that when scanned with its mobile app, directed pirates to the Sea of Thieves Spotify page. We then were able to spot glitches in various music videos, each containing a letter. In Fated Enemies, there was the letter B, the Golden Voyage, letter O, Gold Horror, letter U, Shores of Gold, letter N, Shroud Broken, T, and Across the Waves, Y. Putting the letters together, we get the word Bounty. Now, Hold that trail for a second. See if Thieves then post a Trivia Tuesday that features a fruit crate with fruit symbols on the side, as you can see a banana, pomegranate, coconut, mango, and pineapple. This would prove to be useful later. See if Thieves then post something today. We'd rate you a 10, now rate us back please. In this image, you can see a ship's crest, which says ripe green chive an anagram for a Viganeer cipher. The Viganeer cipher always requires a known key to decode, and the most promising was Bounty, so we went with that. Going back to the fruit crate and the image in the OneDrive folder then. If you rotate these images in the OneDrive folder to match the direction that the fruit's facing on the fruit crate, then read the pig pen symbols in the direction that you've rotated, you get three letter codes. Let me explain that in a bit more English. Let's take the one of the banana for example. We can then rotate that to face the same way as the banana on the fruit crate. And seen as it's now flipped, if we read the runes and put them into a pig pen cipher from right to left, we get the letters H, K, D. And if we do the same for all the rest of the fruit, then we get more random codes. However, if we then arrange these in alphabetical order, so it would go A, S, L, B, N, R, D, T, I, H, K, D, J, J, Y, G, and we put that sequence into the Viganeer cipher with the code bounty, then we get 
Z-E-R-0-U-T-C-F-O-U-R-F-I-V-E-T. Basically, in translation, saying 0-U-T-C-4-5-T. If you then go to the Sea of Thieves website and put that in, 0-U-T-C-4-5-T, you will get access to the in-game voyage. And voila! The Skin of Gold puzzle has been solved, and now it's time for the in-game element. If you're someone who loved the OG Shores of Gold Tall Tales, then I think you will like this voyage. However, if you're someone that's recently joined the game and expected something like The Legend of the Veil, well, you're going to be bitterly disappointed. When you place down the voyage, you get a tall tale book. This book is from H, whoever that may be and his riddles that take you across a fair few islands in the Sea of Thieves. In this particular voyage, it was in the Shores of Plenty. His riddles are very hard. They're very much riddles. They're not just, oh, play a song at a certain statue. When you do this, you will see that they're incredibly hard. Now, as impactful as the feeling of solving puzzles were, this voyage was incredibly lackluster. It is probably the most boring voyage in Sea of Thieves. In fact, I wouldn't class it as a voyage. Now, I understand it's for the mystery only, but it took you across loads of islands in the Sea of Thieves, requires you to use your head a ton, and if you're not using any guides, it'll take you forever. And you just get a key and a couple bits of loot. Now, this key, the silver-plated key, is one of the keys to the mysterious chest that's been left by H in all the Goldwater tents. So we are one step closer to solving the mystery. But if all of the rest of the voyages are exactly like this one, then this mystery certainly has me worried. The puzzles were incredibly hard out of game. The community completely rallied together across the internet, which again, I really think they should be more in-game based. I don't know why Rare are focusing so much on out of game. Make it in-game. There's less in-game at the moment than in the Who Killed DeMarco mystery. That's really, really bad. So yeah, I was disappointed by this voyage, but you get the key at the end of it and you can go and sell it to the gold hoarders for a little bit of gold. No, no new music, no new assets, just a book with loads of hard riddles in them for you to go across islands in the Sea of Thieves. However, I suspect that the puzzles will improve as we go along and the voyages will also get better. It's the finale which will be the real test of this mystery. If we go in-game, we can also see the rewards that you get from this mystery, and they are really, really good. There are two trinkets up for grabs. The first is a gold bullion, which looks alright, but then we have the gold hoarder skull. This looks phenomenal for completing the entire mystery. When you complete this voyage to get the silver plate key, you also get a nice little title, and there are loads more titles up for grabs throughout the duration of the mystery as well. So there are some very nice rewards up for grabs, so I definitely recommend going and checking it all out in game. The final thing that is worth mentioning is there's been a couple bits of promotional art that have been released surrounding the Hoarders Hunt which seem very interesting. Both depict a form of H as a hooded figure. We've seen masked and hooded people before, so let's hope it's not Wanda. No, it can't be, obviously. In this image here, we can see it looks like Humphrey the Hoarder, I believe, but he's got his eyes blacked out with X's and stuff, but this is obviously H scheming. And then this slightly more artistic point of view, again, is just another promotional image. We can see that same figure again. All very interesting. I can't wait to see where the Hoarder's Hunt leads on. Reminder, if you want to go and check all this out for yourself, you need to go to the Sea of Thieves website, the Sea of Thieves mystery website, sign up for the mystery, and then type in the code 0 U. T C 4 5 T that does just about bring us to the end of the video though let me know what you think of all this down in the comments below are you enjoying the mystery so far or are you finding it a bit hard to follow thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy then please do consider leaving a like it really helps out the channel an absolute ton and subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest see it thieves news as and when it comes out and my edit why not hit the bell as well so you never miss a single upload but anyways apart from all that thanks for watching and i'll see you later